I recently discovered Hero Arts looking glass die sets and found them to be beautiful one, two, or three layer frames for clear views transparencies as I will share in this video. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I like the Hero Arts looking glass die sets so much I bought three of them which I use to make the cards I will share. Each of the cards also feature clear view transparencies, which are pictures on acetate I have used for years from the marketplace. They are now sold at a local stamp shop, and I have a link in the description box to those as well as all the products I feature. Of course, there are also links there to my blog post with more details on all the cards I share. These are the looking glass die sets I now own. So I have Winter Forest, Lighthouse, and Rain and Clouds. And uh, this is the first card that I made. Um, I made this Christmas card for my stash with a one layer deer from Winter Forest. So um, what I found was you can make beautiful cards with just one of them or you can use two of them or you can use all three and I'm going to show all of those in this video. But of course you can mix and match too. Um, you can add the rain to maybe a scene in the forest or you know so you can mix and match these as well which is fun. Um, I just like I said I just used one and it was the deer and I created a frame for it and um, debossed the background and added a sentiment and then the deer is over a clear view transparency which I put on glitter a uh, glitter background so they have uh, you stick them onto something and generally I use a glitter paper or a pearlescent paper something that's going to shine through and make it even more beautiful um, here is the um, one that I used for this card. It's called Winter Wonder. So this is the right way here. Um, another thing that I like is um, generally you get eight different pictures on a sheet. And um, you can request that those um, be put onto a sticky back uh, and I have them, them do that for an extra dollar. So every one of these are going to come off and stick very easily with no worries of the whatever you use to, to you know show through and if you like one of the pictures the best you can special request that all eight pictures be that one picture and so um, I just I loved all of them but I love this one in particular so I requested that all eight pictures be the same and um, that's the one that I used on my first card My uh, second card is a trifold, and it's made with two layers of the lighthouse <coughs> set. So um, I use, of course, the lighthouse, and then I use this one here. And um, I did it on a trifold. So the front is the lighthouse, and then you open it up, and then you see the sailboat. And um, I just did a little sponging there. And then the third layer, you can see that beautiful um, clear views transparency picture um, in the background. So that's another way to use both the clear views transparencies and the dies, two layers in this case. And here's a picture of that one that I used. Um, for this card, and I'm also using it for the third card, this uh, Clear Views is called New Day for John. And it's one of my favorites, and it is in honor of Jill's husband, John, who had passed away, and she put a beautiful set together of scenes um, for him. So um, that one I'm also going to use in the third card. But here again, it's a, it's a trifold with a lighthouse and a sailboat, and then it opens up like that. This card is the one that I'm going to show you how to make with several sets of the Hero Arts Looking Glass die sets and several more clear views transparency from that special New Day set. Now this card is a double fun fold that I learned how to make from a Pinterest post from Lisa 
Curcio's, I hope I'm saying that right, blog. Um, <clears throat> so the front is a beautiful picture of a um, canoe um, on water. And I used two layers of the clouds um, from, I'm going to show you that, but you can choose again to use two layers or one layer. I used um, this cloud um, with vellum and this cloud with the pearlescent paper there on a green square. And then um, when you open it on the next layer, there's another green square. And um, remember uh, rub-ons? Remember those from years ago? Um, I rediscovered them recently. I had a bunch and I discarded them. But I found this set from uh, 49 and Market. And they were just so beautiful. And I know I'm going to be using them again in a video. Um, I like the leaves, of course, but on every side they have uh, butterflies and then they had mushrooms. And then this one here, you know, just gorgeous with the ferns and everything. And then what really sold me on it was the sentiment. Um, there's two sentiment um, pieces. So you get uh, what six full sheets for $7.99 and they're all very easy to use which I'm going to remind you um, so this one says enjoy the adventure and I, I put one of those rub-ons there and then you open it again and in this case I have another um, beautiful scene and in this case it has three layers um, so I've shown you one two and three and another uh, rub-on sentiment so that's the card that we're going to make today I uh, learned again how to make this um, from Lisa Curcio's um, and I, I found it on Pinterest and this is the template that I made I always make a template with scrap paper so I can refer to it in the future um, and um, you're going to start with um, a a piece of a cardstock that is five and a half by six and a quarter and you're going to score it at two inches so I've done that so this brown piece here is the is the first piece and again that's six and a quarter by five and a half and you score it at two inches and then the inside piece is five and a quarter by eight and you score it at four so again it is eight inches long five and a quarter high you score it in half at four and that fits in here so you have your one layer your two layers and your three layers um, and then these pieces here in uh, Lisa's tutorial she she made them rectangles at three and a quarter by two and three quarters but you can make them really any size that you want provided they fit evenly and then both pieces this piece and this piece are the same and this piece covers that one up I decided to do squares on mine because I am framing um, with the hero arts um, layering dies and also the um, transparencies and I'm going to show you um, how I did that so um, I have done all the die cutting and have that ready to go and um, I have put easy cut adhesive on the back of most of my pieces um, which of course just adds adhesive on the back of these that are already cut and makes them go together very easily um, some of them you can you know the the vellum I didn't put that on um, because I was afraid it might show um, but I have die cut these pieces and basically we're just going to stick them together so I'm going to take that easy cut adhesive off the back and then line it up and um, if it's not perfect I should be able to trim it I can already see if I can get this off it's more important to cover those inside ones than the outside the outside is a lot easier to trim So I can see a little vellum on the outside and I'm just going to trim that off.
So I have two layers of um, clouds. And then I am going to add some skinny score tape on these. And then again, try to line this up. But I should trim this one down. I cut it with the same die. I was going to show you that. I have a whole set of um, Creelys double uh, stitch. It's not really stitched, I guess. I think it's called um, double dotted, I think. Double dotted squares um, from Creelys. And I decided to add a little more interest to these frames by using the dotted um, dies and uh, so I have um, a whole set that I used a little more trimming needed and then I've cut a little larger one out of a real pretty um, green textured cardstock. And I've put adhesive on just the left side of this. So we're going to line it up. And then attach it. To the center. So the front will open like that. And then the second one I have gotten ready to save a little time. It says enjoy the adventure. Um, those uh, rub-ons had two adventures and um, two of each of these sets of, uh, of sentiments. So I was able to use that one here. This card, um, one of these is going to be from a brother-in-law who is retiring. And so I thought this would be perfect. He does love fishing. So um, I'm going to take a pencil and mark on here very lightly where that is and then let's put some regular adhesive on this one and then I'm going to carefully line it up in those pencil marks and without pressing it down too firmly, just make sure yep, that it gets covered by that front one. Erase the pencil marks. So the front and the middle are done. And then we're just going to create one more. This time it's going to be three layers. And then I'm going to put on a uh, another... Oops! There goes my sailboat, but I caught it. Um, another rub-on and remind you how to do that. I bet you haven't done that in years, or maybe you never did. Um, but um, this set, I think I might even get some more. It's really a cool set. I did want to show you that when I have these clear view transparencies, this is a beautiful sunset scene. And um, I stick it on um, with that adhesive backing to some type of... Um, Paper. Now you can put it right on white, 
Um, the samples I showed you, well, they don't really. If you put it on white, it's just going to be white behind there. But if these, if you put them on glitter paper, you're going to see some glitter for the snow behind it. And in this case, I used a pearlescent gold with a little sparkle. And it just makes it um, much more beautiful. You can see that sparkle behind there. Um, I, I die cut a tiny little sailboat and now I'm going to put the three layers together and then put it onto the um, Clearview's transparency. Now I used a smaller frame this time so it's a little harder to line up but I'm going to do my best and I might have to do some trimming um, if, if uh, I need to, but you can see on the inside, I didn't want that really big frame. I still wanted to leave room to sign um, the card and, and put a message. So um, I'm going to try to get these lined up. And again, it's more important, oh, get off my fingers, that um, you get the inside uh, lined up because that's harder to trim. The outside ones. I can easily trim off. So you see the um, blue waves. Um, that piece is going to come off, yeah, um, behind the, the lighthouse so far. And then I cut the sailboat out of a yellow piece again with that easy cut adhesive on the back and I need to poke that piece out okay and the sailboat is going to be yellow and then this piece here um, cuts out like this so um, and it has adhesive on the back so I'm trying to figure out if I can attach it. I can't remember, you know, I was trying to figure out how did I do that the first time. Uh, but if you put it on here, it's real hard to line up. I think I'm going to try to put a couple glue dots to hold it in place until I put it onto the transparency. And when I do that, I do want this sticky back off. Yep. Yeah, that doesn't want to stick. Well, we're just going to try. Maybe that'll work, huh? Because that blue part is sticky. The back of this blue part was also sticky, so um, that is now um, attached. And again, I'm going to try to line this up. Oh, wasn't hard. So I have a beautiful scene here with a lighthouse and water and some greens, and then that uh, clear view transparency in the back. It needs a little trimming, but not much. And I think we'll use some good, strong two-sided tape to attach that to the card.
and put it in straight this time. Let's see if I can. And then I have um, the uh, rub on. Um, this is the tool that it was given in the kitten that works just fine. I also like my good strong bone folder. Um, so um, all you do is take it off the backing, which is not even sticking to, but that's just kind of protecting it. And then you're going to stick it where you want it on your card and press it down. But then you do need to take either their tool or a bone folder of some kind and press it firmly into the paper. Try mine. And then you just start lifting a side off and you see is it sticking or not. And it is. And that's all there is to it. And that is a permanent colored sentiment that is right down into the paper. I just think that's really cool and perfect for this card. Wander, wonder, repeat. So we have a beautiful picture. We put that on upside down. No, we did. <laughs> Isn't that fun? something? Well, guys, okay, pretend that this shadow part is the fisherman. I'll get that fixed. <laughs> I put it on upside down. But because um, it does open this way, but pretend you didn't see that, okay? <laughs> and again, I'll get it fixed on a frame um, with my clouds in the water. <laughs> uh, here, that's what it looks like if you if it was done correctly. And then you open it and you see enjoy the adventure. And then you open it one more time and you see a lighthouse and a sailboat and a beautiful picture. Wander, wonder, repeat. I had great fun creating these cards with Hero Arts Looking Glass die sets and the Clearview's transparencies and hope my cards encourage you to give some of these ideas and products a try. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.